What is a software bug? A software bug is an error or flaw in a computer program or system that causes it to behave unexpectedly or produce incorrect results. This is not intentional and that's what makes it different to a virus which is designed to be malicious. We get the term bug from the very first case which was an actual insect. In this first incident, a team at Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts were working on the Mark II computer in 1947 until they found the computer was giving consistent errors. When the team opened up the computer's hardware, they discovered that the culprit of all the errors was an actual moth that got trapped in the electronics. They even taped it to the logbook and wrote, first actual case of bug being found in the notes. Since then, the term bug has been used to refer to any kind of error or flaw in software. There are many types of software bugs, and here are just a few. Syntax errors. These are mistakes in the programming code that violate the language's rules, preventing the program from running. They tend to be the easiest to solve, as most programming languages can identify these errors. Logical errors are flaws in the program's logic that cause it to produce incorrect results or behave unexpectedly. For example, a calculation for an average of two numbers could be number 1 plus number 2 divided by 2. In this case, we expect the result to be 61, but we get 90 instead. This is because of bod mass. So the calculation does the division of number 2 by 2 first, then adds the result to number 1, which is logically incorrect. Brackets are needed to fix this error. I always say, computers don't do what you want them to do, they do what you tell them to do. Runtime errors are errors that occur during the execution or running of a program, which causes it to crash or time out, such as accessing invalid memory or dividing by zero. And we all know Chuck Norris is the only person that can divide by zero. And then there are performance bugs, which is when there are problems that degrade the software's performance, causing it to run slowly or consume excessive resources. The software is not running optimally. Software bugs are mainly caused because of programming errors made by developers while writing code, such as logic errors, syntax errors, or using functions incorrectly. And insufficient testing can fail to uncover bugs before the software is released. That is why it is important to test all possible cases, even testing with bad or incorrect data to see if the software can prevent or detect incorrect input or processing of that data. When designing a program for someone else, errors could occur if the requirements are poorly defined. If the requirements are unclear or incomplete, it can lead to errors during development. And the pressure of tight deadlines or time constraints can result in development of the software being rushed. This can lead to overlooked errors. How many times has a game been advertised to be released on a certain date? But the very first version can often contain many errors that you then have to wait for patches and updates to fix the errors. And we mustn't forget that software doesn't always work in isolation, but needs to interact with other software and systems. And this can cause integration issues when these systems have compatibility problems. Software bugs can be a real pain for both the programmers and the clients, as they get frustrated with the programs always crashing, make bad decisions based on incorrect results, opening up themselves to security vulnerabilities in the software, and may even damage the reputation of the software company. So it's very important to prevent and detect bugs early. Here are some strategies that could help. Following good and established coding practices can help minimize the occurrence of bugs. Rigorous testing with bad data as well as the compatibility with other systems can help identify and fix bugs before software is released. Peer code reviews involve having other developers examine code for errors, providing feedback and catching potential bugs. Developers can use specialized debugging tools or debugging features in the software to identify and fix bugs, tracing the program's execution and analyzing how it is using the data at every step. Encouraging users to report bugs they encounter helps identify issues that may have been missed during development and testing. And providing regular updates, bug fixes and patches based on that user feedback together with ongoing testing can help prevent and detect bugs over time. Mistakes will happen, but it is how we try to prevent them and how to fix the ones that slip through that is going to be the best way for us as a developer or programmer in the future. For more computer terms, go to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long Computer Terms and click on that subscribe button to support the channel. Also, follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education and share us with your friends so we can help them too. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.